In this topic, we will take a look at synchronizing Syracuse users from the LDAP directory. The connection through LDAP has been available since we changed the platform from a FAT client to a web-based one. In this new feature, when we synchronize a Syracuse user from the LDAP directory, it will create a fully operational Syracuse user as is done currently, but it will also be able to associate this user to a setup group and be able to create an X3 user on several endpoints. With the automatic creation of users from the LDAP directory, the administrator will no longer need to review the directory to see who has changed his or her password or who has been added as a new addition. Also, the launching of the updates can be scheduled. Endpoint users can be created in the Syracuse user function. Creation of X3 users will also be handled by this tool. In order for the update of users from the LDAP directory to run smoothly, some entities have to be set up. The LDAP directory needs additional information that allows it to map the LDAP group with the Syracuse group. On the group entity, it is possible to choose the LDAP group to be mapped to the Syracuse group. In order that the tool can automatically create the endpoint user during the synchronization, the trade profile of the endpoint should be mapped with a Syracuse role. Let's see how the synchronization is set up and launched. The LDAP server is found under Administration Authentication LDAP servers. As we mentioned in the introduction, the LDAP connection has been in use since the previous version. Let's review the LDAP connection properties. Once it's configured, the synchronization can be launched manually or it can be scheduled using the options in the right panel. This option is for the user mapping LDAP attributes. Mapping for group membership, which always starts with member of, contains the name of the LDAP attribute which corresponds to the group membership property of the user entity. The link between the X3 groups and the LDAP groups is set up in Administration User Group. Let's see a description of a group. We go to Administration, Users, Groups. On the group entity, you will find the LDAP group at the bottom. When you click on the lens icon, a list of LDAP instances will be displayed. Here, you can choose the LDAP group with the attribute that will correspond to the Syracuse group. Automatic creation of endpoint users in the Syracuse user requires that the role should be mapped with a trade profile in the endpoint. Let's take a look at the existing roles to profession mappings. This is found under Administration, Endpoints. Select your endpoint, and then down in the lower right corner, you'll find the roles to profession codes mapping section, where you can list your profession codes and then map those to corresponding Syracuse roles. Once you've completed your mapping, make sure and save your changes. Let me show you how the endpoint user can be created from the Syracuse user. Go to Administration, Users. Enter in your user information, like
like you normally would. Be sure to include a group and then here on your endpoint logins you would enter the user login. You can have different logins for different endpoints if you need them. Select your endpoint. Then on the action icon, select create X3 user. The list of profession codes will be displayed and you can select the profession code you want to link to this endpoint user for it to be created. The data of the created endpoint user can be consulted by clicking on the Data of X3 User button. In conclusion, Syracuse users as well as the endpoint users can be created automatically during the synchronization from the LDAP directory if all of the parameters needed have been set up.